Alright, so I got nothing else left to do. So let's watch some high quality YouTube shorts. The other day, my friend asked me to babysit her baby. Wait a second, who the f would do that? Audience, you see the baby in this video? Well, this is the baby now, he's fing dead. Oh wow, that was such an amazing short. I sure am glad that I wasted those precious seconds of my life watching it. Commentary YouTubers, much like everything else in this world, are a double-edged sword. They can produce high-quality and entertaining content, or they can produce utter garbage that gives you 500 tumors. And one of the people that is part of this garbage content terrorist cell is a YouTuber called Red. Now, Red initially came to prominence by making videos on classic cringe content, whether that be awful fandoms, Roblox TikToks, or awful TikTok Spice Kings. However, he then decided to stray away from the path of light and embrace the dark arts. In other words, become a shorts commentator, which is a genre that never needed to exist in the first place. Now this switch in content boosted his views and subscriber count, but it also must have done something to his brain chemistry, because his content has not improved. In fact, it's gotten a lot worse. So for example, we've got his most popular short over here with over 19 million views titled Ben Azelart Almost Dies, Shocked Face Emoji. And what I'm going to do right now is put myself at risk of getting brain cancer and watch this short. What happens when you spend the day at the world's most dangerous water park? Literally nothing happens. Just don't be a fucking idiot and you won't die. First Okay, so first thing you might notice is the amount of visual and audio effects that Rith has put into this video. Now, the reason why he did this is not because he has ADHD, but because he understands how the YouTube Shorts algorithm works. The YouTube Shorts algorithm is retention-based, so if people keep watching the video more, it's going to get recommended to more people, therefore, it's going to get more views. And what a lot of YouTubers like Rith like doing is dropping audio-visual nuclear bombs on their viewers. A million sound effects, a million visual effects, Loud noises and CGI everywhere, like it's a fucking Marvel movie. And while I do respect the grind to get views, I do not respect the irreparable damage done to the brain cells and ears of millions of fetuses who keep mindlessly scrolling through YouTube Shorts, because those are the majority of people who use YouTube Shorts. First, I tried finding the most normal and safe looking side of the park, and smacked my head. Your parents probably smacked your head around too. No wonder you fucking ended up like this. Like, another thing you will notice about Rith is that his funny commentary is not necessarily funny, or even commentary. It's more like preschool insults. Let me just make a comparison between good commentary YouTubers and Red. If a good commentary YouTuber wanted to make fun of a bald person, they would say his head looks like a penis. You know, it's a bit childish, but it's still funny. What Red would do is he would point at the bald person and scream, YOU GOT NO HAIR AND I DO! HA! 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 Like his insults and commentary are just so basic and mediocre that the videos that he reacts to start to look more enjoyable by comparison. And yet, despite how utterly shit these videos are, the feedback they're getting is very positive. Like this Ben Azalar video that I'm watching right now, it has 922,000 likes, and the comment section is just full of praise. I thought Pointless's channel was bad when I made my video on him several months ago, with its clickbait titles and no content at all, but at least Pointless's channel was dead when I made that video, meanwhile this guy's videos keep getting views to this very day. Bro Baron is son alive! Okay, bro, tone down your voice a little. Like, I get you trying to appeal to kids, because kids like loud noises, but at the same time, kids have very delicate ears, and I'm pretty sure 95% of your kid audience, because ain't no way in hell an adult is going to watch your video, have gone deaf because of your screaming. Okay, what the f*** is going on here? This is the sh**iest parenting I've Once again, please, tone down your vocal cords a little, and also, I'm pretty sure you need to understand something called staging videos. I'm pretty sure anyone, even if they have the IQ of Sneeko, can tell that this video is staged. But Reed is acting like, oh my god, they buried a child in a sand. These goddamn billionaires from Epstein's Island have found a new way of harvesting energy from children and they're showing it off on YouTube. Like, obviously, he's trying to do comedic hyperbole, and I'm saying trying, because this is just not comedic. Like, there is no alternate universe where this will be comedic. <laughs> she just picked him up like a fucking slinky! Okay, what the fuck is this video anymore? Is this like a flashback? Or Th that is exactly what I'm asking right now. What the fuck is Rith doing? Like, I I is he reacting? I is he like, you know, playing dumb? Or, or is he just being schizophrenic? Is this like, I is this ch entire channel just like an endless compilation of his schizophrenic bouts? 69,000 likes, by the way, for a video with little to no substance whatsoever. 
Like, is this what gets views nowadays? Is this what's going to revive my dad's channel? Because at this point, I'm willing to try anything. My dad loves Cheerios and has them for breakfast every single morning. Why does your dad eat Cheerios every morning? Why doesn't he eat uranium like a proper alpha male? So while he was sleeping, I dumped out all of his Cheerios. Why did you dump the Cheerios? Do you know how many starving children there are in Uzbekistan, you white privileged piece of shit? My throat actually hurts. Like, how does Rith post these videos every single day? He has to have developed throat cancer by this point. Topper Guild thinks he's a god. I just Once again, loud noises everywhere. Topper, who the f*** is that? Why is he wearing a suit? Is that f***ing Tristan t How is this supposed to be comedic? What about this commentary is supposed to be funny? Because I've been watching like these videos for almost an hour, and I have not laughed a single bit. This is my best friend Zong, and he just hit 30 million subscribers. Yeah, I don't know how the f*** he did it, but he did it. I still haven't reached 10 mil. By the way, you all better subscribe, your mother. You really know when a commentary YouTuber is so great that the actual video that he's reacting to is much more bearable than he is. Like, listen, I don't like Topper Guild or Zong or any one of these morgues would be motherfuckers, but their videos in comparison to Riths are a lot more tolerable, and that's terrifying. Honestly, I'm done for today. I cannot be bothered to look any more at this slop. So thank you guys for watching this video and for all of your support. Remember to subscribe, like, comment, turn notifications on. Please comment because it really helps me out in the algorithm. Also, join my Discord server and follow me on the cesspit known as Twitter. Also, please don't send any hate to Riz. It's just unneeded. And I don't make my videos to harass people. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.